Hey there YouTube, what we're looking at right here is condensation. If you own a travel trailer or a camper of any type or RV and you're in a cold climate, this is probably what you're looking at a lot. If it was actually colder, it would even be running down the windows. And you might even be able to see the water just collects right in the channels here. It's a big problem because mold will grow in there very quickly and uh, it's just not a good thing to have. It makes your whole camper damp and your clothes are damp and your sheets are damp. It's just uh, pretty miserable. Now what I was using last year was this little guy right here which is I want to say like a pint or a pint and a half dehumidifier and it was effectively like trying to empty a swimming pool with a Dixie cup in a rainstorm. So it collected water and it probably worked as good as it is advertising work but it this environment is just too much for it now this year, what I'm using this year is the model on the right which is a 32 quart model uh, dehumidifier made by higher and it's a dramatic difference the unit on the left is uh, doesn't use refrigeration it um, oh, I can't remember what the process is I'll make a comment but basically the unit on the right um, is basically essentially small-scale refrigerator with a large vent on it and it just blows air across the cooling surface and then the water drops down into the tank it picks up a lot more it hasn't been on for the last day so that's why I have moisture on the windows but I'm gonna pop it on right now and uh, we'll see how long it takes to clear up this camper feature wise there's not really a lot going on with this unit uh, you just have the dial that allows you to select what level of dehumidification that you want and a light that illuminates lets you know when it's time to empty the bucket and you can have a high and a low fan speed I don't notice any difference in the power requirement when you switch the fan speed and the high is just really a little bit faster than the low so I just leave it on low uh, just to keep the noise down but uh, the dial is kind of counterintuitive because um, usually you want low humidity but the dial for low humidity you, you set it up on 9 which kind of, you know, if you're thinking 9 would be 90%, which would be high humidity, but it's backwards. So, and there's nothing that tells you actually what uh, the percentage humidity is that you're going for. You just kind of have to play with it and decide for yourself if you got a, a, a meter somewhere in your place that tells you that what the humidity is so you can make a decision. But I don't know. I just, I just turn it on full blast when I go to work and, and then when I come home I turn it off. Now the one nice thing about the unit on the left, it was very quiet. Uh, obviously this refrigeration style unit is much louder. It's not too loud, it's not any louder than like a window air conditioner would be. Maybe a little quieter than that. But the, it has a significantly larger fan that really moves the air around. The fan on this guy right here, just barely is, is enough of a fan to push air across the coils. It's not going to circulate air in a room like that big beast is on the right. Well, I say big beast. It's comparative. It's actually pretty tiny. Well, this is what it looks like with the bucket removed. You can see I filled it up almost to the top right here. Right now I've been using this thing for a couple weeks and it takes about two days, maybe three days to get that filled up, which if you consider the fact that this is just in a camper and not like a whole house, that's a lot of water I'm pulling out of the air. So this is the back of my camper and there's a window above the top bunk back here and this was really bad I had a a mattress flipped up in front of it I thought it was going to work good as insulation but really what it is is just trapped the moisture in that window and was molding pretty bad uh, but I put a fan in there now and uh, if you can add fans on your windows it really speeds up the whole moisture retrieval process because it gets that water in the air and then that nice big fan on that dehumidifier pulls all the air in the camper in pretty quickly and dries it out so it really just took a couple hours and all the windows are, are nice and clear of water. All in all, I'd have to say I'm really pleased with the performance of this product. I don't even run it all day long because I don't really enjoy the fan noise that much. And I also have my heater plugged into the same outlet. And I don't want to pull too much current through there. I just turn it on during the day when I go to work. Let it run for the eight hours when I'm gone during the day. And then when I come back, I leave it turned off until I go to work the next day. And that's enough 
dehumidifi <laughs> dehumidification, is that a word? I just made a word. Uh, that my trailer stays nice and dry without having to run it 24-7. So uh, really so far, very happy with the way this is working out for me.